Hi guys, this is Jacuzzi Ontario here. We're uh, back to answer some of your burning questions on the Jacuzzi sauna. So I'm here with Josh, who's one of our Jacuzzi experts, and uh, he's got the answers that you guys want. So, I mean, first of all, Josh, um, a lot of customers look at our sanctuary, uh, why the yoga model and the sanctuary are. So um, do you mind telling us, uh, you know, some of the differences, apart from obviously the size, um, between these two models? Yeah, sure. Um... I mean, obviously the size, they are two of the bigger saunas that we do have. Uh, the Sanctuary Y is more designed for people who are looking to do hot yoga in their sauna. It's got completely removable benches, so they can go in there and they can exercise and do their yoga and have the space that they need, but do it in a setting where they're getting that infrared heat, which is heating up their body, um, and you know, get more of a solid work out of it. The Sanctuary R has a couple different features to it. Um, that make it unique from all the other saunas that we have. One of them would be an outside ramp and a much wider door to help, you know, handicap accessibility into the sauna so that people that have, you know, some kind of disability, they can still get in and use the sauna um, and, you know, enjoy the benefits that are going to come along with it. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so do we have a removable bench in the, in the Sanctuary R as well? Yes, we do. Yeah, and the the bar infrared panels that we see on this one. Um, is there any differences in the R and in the Y to the other saunas that we carry, like in terms of the area that they cover? Yeah, they cover a little bit more space. They go ground to floor on the uh, not ground to floor, but like mid level height all the way down to the floor. So because the benches come out, uh, we had to put the the far infrared panels, you know, larger in the sauna to give people that full body. So they're still getting that full body, you know, infrared heat. So they're not below it or they're not above it in the, the R of the Y. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. And I, I notice a lot of competitors out there on that subject, they, they'll they have heaters that, that come like up, way above the head. Mm -hmm. uh, I noticed that the jacuzzi lineup doesn't have that. Like, what, what's the reason for us not having that? So the major difference between what they're doing and what we're doing is their infrared heaters aren't putting out enough power to heat the body the way they're designed to. And so they have to compensate by using much larger heaters in their saunas. Obviously I'm sitting here and you can see me and the infrared panel is, you know, just above shoulder height. There's no point in putting a panel up here because it's just wasted energy and wasted space and wasted money. If you build the heaters properly, you can get the same effect at heaters in this area versus having heaters that stretch the entire song. Yeah, absolutely. Um, another question we get quite often is, well, you guys have a lot of glass at the front of your saunas. You have this Italian inspired design, but yep. are you not like losing heat? Because there's gaps in the glass. I mean, I can see even in mine, like what's, what's the story there? So that is a major difference between how infrared saunas work versus how conventional steam saunas work. Uh, infrared saunas heat the body instead of heating their air around the body. So the heaters are designed to penetrate and you know run at a frequency that resonates at the same frequency as the body. So it's heating the internal of the body versus you know conventional steam saunas are designed to heat the air around you um, instead of the body itself. So we're not as concerned with heat loss, even though heat loss isn't happening because all the doors and all the windows are sealed to prevent heat loss. But because of the way the heaters are designed, they're heating the body more than they're heating the air around you. Yeah, that makes, that makes total sense. Yeah, hundred um, percent. So if we talk about the, um, the cost or the investment mm -hmm. of a jacuzzi sauna, whether it's premier or sanctuary uh, versus a lot of competitors out there, you know, we do see a difference, um, and the jacuzzi are not the the, the least expensive in the, in the higher range. So, uh, what do you say when a customer kind of asks you about that and the, the reason why? So, there's there's a couple massive reasons why we're doing what we're doing, and we're at the price point that we're that we're at. Um, one, we're a, do a doctor designed sauna. So, uh, Dr. Riley Duncan, you know, created and designed the sauna based on his years of service in the medical field. Um, two, you're looking at a limited lifetime warranty on our saunas, which is something most of our competitors came in touch. Uh, three, in our sanctuary line, you're getting full spectrum heat. So you're getting near mid and far infrared heat. We're the only 
infrared sauna that offers that with our patented carbon ceramic heaters. So those are some major differences that you're getting versus you're getting anywhere else. Um, furniture grade wood, you know, all, you know, harvested from BC, you know, with our basswood or our cedar, you know, all of these things amount to what we've been able to position ourselves as, you know, a leading manufacturer in wellness products. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, you're getting a true therapy chamber with everyone else. I mean, for the most part, you're just sitting in a hot box. And yeah. a lot of the time, it's actually not not that great for you to be sitting in those hot boxes. So um, I guess just to wrap up, I'd, I just want to ask, customers obviously have concerns about, uh, you know, EMF, um, you know, magnetic frequencies. And we've talked about this a little bit on, on some other videos, but, but what do you usually say to customers when they ask about the safety in the jacuzzi sorters? Yeah, so safety is actually a big concern for a lot of people. Um, and, you know, we emit near zero EMF rating in our saunas, unless you're like standing with your face up against one of the heaters, which nobody's going to do. Um, you know, when you're sitting back in that seated position, you're getting a near zero EMF rating. So you are completely safe. There's more EMF coming off my cell phone than there is in this sauna. So like there's, you're very, very safe with inside this sauna. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, stressing the safety. It's all independently tested as well. We're one of the only companies that independently tests and then posts those findings. Um, and guys, if you want to talk to an expert on uh, on any of these points, uh, just uh, you can connect with us via Drift in the bottom corner there. There's lots more videos like these. And just want to say thanks, Josh, for uh, for giving us some insights. And we'll speak to you soon.